With the war in Ukraine approaching seven months and with no end in sight, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday signed an executive order declaring partial mobilization. Essentially, with this mobilization, Russia has called up 300,000 reservists to fight in Ukraine. While declaring this mobilization on Wednesday, Putin also stated that Moscow would respond with the might of all its vast arsenal if the West pursued what he called nuclear blackmail over the conflict in Ukraine. This was, however, Moscow's first such mobilization since World War II. Citing federal laws from 1996 to 1998, the mobilization order calls up civilians to serve in the Russian armed forces. These civilians will enjoy the same status and level of pay as military personnel in the armed forces under contract. The contracts would remain valid until the partial mobilization period has concluded, except in cases of dismissal. Grounds for dismissal from service include reaching the age limit, being declared medically unfit for service, or in extreme circumstances in connection with the entry into force of a court verdict on the imposition of a sentence of imprisonment. Civilians exempt from this conscription for mobilization are those working for defense companies who have the right to deferment as long as they remain employed by these companies. Earlier on Tuesday, Putin had met with the heads of Russian defense industry firms, calling on them to increase and modernize production capacities as well as maximize equipment usage, streamline production cycles, and expedite production deadlines. On the other hand, Ukraine has declared that Russia's mobilization was a predictable step that will prove extremely unpopular and underscores that the war is not going according to Moscow's plan. Presidential advisor Mikhailo Podolyak said on Wednesday. Further, Russian appointed occupation officials in Lugansk, Donetsk, Kherson and Zaporizhia oblasts announced on September 20th, Tuesday, that they will hold a referendum on acceding to Russia, with a vote scheduled to take place from September 23rd to 27th. However, the vote is being referred to as a sham, since many of the territories have seen either a mass exodus of people since the conflict began, while many of these places are incredibly unsafe and some are under Ukraine's rule. For the print, this is Sachet Veer Singh. For more, log on to theprint.in.